Hello, beloved. This is Tony. I've uh, not done a video in probably a month, but I just a lot of things going on. And um, for the past two or three weeks, I, I've sort of been battling with, you know, do I show this and tell it or, or, or do I not? And uh, it sort of worked out, yes, I tell it. Okay, and this is a dream that I had maybe three weeks ago now. And in the dream, I was in a forest. And I saw a stick that had a serpent on it. And it was golden. And it glowed. It was a golden serpent twined around a stick. And the stick was about as long as... You know, as, as say, my arms, my arms, you know, I mean, it, it was from here to here, okay? And I walked up, and I picked up the stick in both hands. I just reached and picked it up. And when I did, right, I'm just going to show you a little stick man here. As you guys know, I can't draw, okay? I picked up the stick. Okay, so I picked up the stick, and it was in my hand, okay, and the serpent was twined around it, and it was glowing, okay, and when I did, <laughs> the strangest thing happening, it was like almost being in two places at once, it was like being in me, but then also it was being outside of me and seeing me. And what happened, craziest thing, a beam of light came out of my forehead. I know it's crazy, but a beam of light came out of my forehead and it split. One beam went here and one beam went here and hit my two feet. And then this one ricocheted to this hand and this one ricocheted to this hand and I become a star okay <laughs> I know that's crazy well the crazy thing was as this was happening and I'm seeing these flashes I saw this word my stick which we also translate as mystic and a funny thing in scripture most people don't know this I guess they God is always in a mist or a cloud. A mist, okay? And in this weird way, it was like a knowing. Just, you know, it was just like it was just there. I just knew it. The mystic, my stick, was my. This was for star, my star. I see. But it was shortened to my stick. And it completed the star. It connected the two. So the beam of light came out of my head, hit one foot, bounced here. It come out, it hit this foot, it bounced here. And the stick and the serpent completed the star. Well, <laughs> I know this is sort of crazy. I mean, it's just what happened. So, I was going to do the video a week or so ago, and I thought, well, you know, let me, so I don't have to draw a little stick man here. I was looking for a, a man that I could sort of draw this illustration and show you this. And it unfolded even more. Hold on one moment, I'm going to show you what I found. One moment, please. Okay, so when I looked up the image of a man to show this with, Vitruvian man came up. And as soon as I seen it, I was just sort of in shock and awe because I saw something and realized, which in some ways I've already known it. I just didn't know how to show it to, to the world, I guess. Okay, so this is kind of how it worked. I had the stick in my hand with a serpent around it. Okay, the beam of light came out of the forehead it hit this foot, it hit this foot. It bounced to this hand, and it bounced to that hand. So this is that star. 
Well, the Vitruvian Man, and I'm sorry, I'm not the best star maker, so I'm going to do it like this. This is why his legs and arms are done the way they're done, okay? If this is where the beam come from, it would go here and here, and it would bounce back to this foot, this foot, and the serpent would be there. And I thought of the uh, bruise, your heel, and his head. Is that how that scripture goes? You know, it's when Adam and Eve were cast out of the garden. Okay, so then when this is turned up, it's the opposite. It's what they would call the bathmet. Okay, and then it's the square, you see, and it's the circle. So it's sort of the differences of the two. Alright, so I know that's not the best, but what it is, it's two stars that have become one. And I'm just going to show you something really quick. Okay, so now I'm showing you this photo of two stars. And the two stars are dividing up a circle of 360 degrees. Alright, the green is one star and the yellow is the other star all right so it's the 10 pointed star okay so now this is the circle and it has the two stars in it which is five points each so it's a total of 10 points and degrees of radius now a lot in my videos i've spoke of nine all right, now I want to show you, this is very interesting. 3 plus 6, 9. 1 plus 8, 9. 3 plus 6, 9. 5 plus 4, 9. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 0, 9. 1 plus 8, 9. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. 1 plus 4 plus 4. 9, 6 plus 1 is 7, 2 is 9, 1 plus 8, 9, 8 and 9, no, so this is 18, 1 and 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7 and 2, 9, 8 and 8 is 16, plus 2 is 18, 1 plus 8, 9, 3 plus 6, 9, 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 4, 9, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Okay, so I mean, to me, that just, it's, it's incredible. Huh. It's, alright, and then, the, you know, I've, I've shown, like, uh, this would be Yod, hey, uh, Sorry, my Hebrew is not so good. Okay, yod hey vah hey is N I N E nine. And then actually, when you study nine in scriptures, you know there's so many references. There's cloud nine. All right. But it, it's a circle, the radius, 360 degrees. The 10 points equals, it's a balance of 9 all the way around. Okay, and the Vitruvian man is actually those two. It, it's, it's, a, it's a way of doing it over a man that you're getting the 10 points. It's 1, 2. Yep, yeah, all counts as 2 here, but that's that. And, uh, and like I said, it was the stick. It, it all just come through in a dream. Okay, but it all still goes back to...
to duality. Polarization. All right, and in a lot of my, my previous work, I had, uh, I think there's one called Climbing the Tree of Life in my playlist. And I show you this symbol. All right, and this is actually made by two stars becoming one. And I've shown you the Nyan sequence of one, two, four, eight, seven, five. Final one being nine. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh. All right. And this equals, uh, I think it's like 27, and 2 and 7 is 9. Okay, equals 9 there. This symbol would be like 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, back to 1. And this is sort of 9. Slaves are mine, their lives are mine, all that they own is mine. I do not know your God, nor will I let Israel go. Who are you to make their lives bitter in hard bondage? Man shall be ruled by law, not by the will of other men. Who is this God that I should let your people go? Aaron. Pass down my staff before Pharaoh. He may see the power of God. In this you shall know that the Lord is God. His will harm you, my son. The power of your God is a cheap magician's trick. Dennis. Others. 